Well, moving on now, it's an election year, of course, and you've probably heard about the fight over whether counties in Ohio should have more than one drop box for ballots. Ohio Democratic Party Chair David Pepper joins us via Zoom to talk about the de debate. Uh, David, thanks so much for getting up early with us. We really appreciate it. Good morning. Uh, good to be with you. Good morning. Now, I know um, I'm having you on, obviously, to talk about the drop boxes, but I have to ask you first about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and um, her passing. We all knew she was very sick. Um, your thoughts this morning as there's this debate going back and forth. McConnell, Mitch McConnell says he's going to fill that seat or should fill that seat. Chuck Schumer saying, no, no, no I don't think so. Not so fast. Remember what happened to Merrick Garland. So uh, your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, before getting into the politics, obviously, it's such a loss for our country. Uh, she was a real hero uh, in the legal world and way beyond. And so it uh, she fought till the end. She, you know, she's just finished the term, obviously was struggling. So we just want to think about and say a prayer for her family and, and really all the people that she worked with in the court. She was incredible, incredible patriot that we're lucky to have lived at the same time as. Um, let me just say on the, on the decision about replacing her, I'll just say very simply, uh, I'll quote something. The best thing for the country is to trust the American people to weigh in and to have the confirmation process take place in a less partisan atmosphere, awaiting the result of a democratic election rather than having a nomination fight in this contentious election year environment will give the nominee more legitimacy. That was uh, Rob Portman in 2016 saying that. And he wrote that in March of the election year. We are now only 45 days or so from the election. So. Uh, my hope is that people like Rob Portman, who said this principle in 16, well before this point, will be true to those principles uh, now. We, the last thing we should do is is rush something through. You know, part of a legitimate government is that the same rules apply. And this rule was made very clear in, in 2016. And if, if it is shifted now in, in what would be an egregious uh, shift, I think it really as Rob Portman himself wrote, gets to the legitimacy of, of that appointment. So hopefully people uh, show some common sense and some principle here. That's pretty interesting. Um, now let's talk about the Dropbox issue. I know you all sued uh, over this topic. Um, I reached out to Alex Trantafilu, the chair of the Hamilton County Republican Party, to have him come on with you. I was going to see you guys kind of go back and forth on this, but he was unavailable. But he said to me that, um, you know, there are so many ways for people to vote. We have four weeks of early voting. You can request this absentee by mail right. ballot this year. All of these things. He said all the and we just had a story about in Kentucky where the county clerks are urging people to vote in person early because they're doing three weeks of early voting for the first time. So. Right. If we have four weeks of early voting and we're going to have election day and we can do the mail in and I know the concern about the, you know, the mail and everything. Why? Why do you guys feel so strongly that there needs to be more than one drop box? Uh, you know, this is something this is first of all, the law says it. And that's what the court ruled that Frank LaRose violated the law in, in banning all but one. But just to be clear, these drop boxes are in states around the country. They are very popular. They're not partisan. They're not controversial. In Georgia, run by a Republican, Brian Kemp, former Secretary of State, they have 20 alone in, Frank, in, in Fulton County, which is the county that Atlanta's based in. They have these in Anchorage, Alaska, Salt Lake City, Utah. They're just not controversial. And you're showing pictures of lines here. Um, a drop box is, a, you know, if you can vote at your local library, you, you take that ballot and you drop it off there. Every single person who does that is a person not on a line on election day. It's a person not interacting in the COVID crisis. So it's safer, it's easier. To have one drop box per county, that means someone from Forest Park is gonna be on a public bus for 100 minutes each way to get to that drop box. It means someone from Harrison is gonna drive for 45 minutes each way to get to a drop box. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, We have mailboxes everywhere. We have BMVs everywhere. This is something that the law allows. It now turns out that Frank LaRose was Frank LaRose, by the way, it, it apparently doesn't agree with Alex Pantofilou. Frank LaRose, the Secretary of State of Ohio, has said again and again, oh, he wishes there were more drop boxes also. He just doesn't think he's allowed to. Well, now the court says he's allowed to. So we're calling on him to drop these appeals. The court cleared the way and said these are perfectly fine, Ohio. So um, this is something that, 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 frankly, Frank LaRose should just do because he, like me, says that they would be an improvement. He doesn't agree, apparently, with Alex Pantofilou. 
All righty. Well, um, thank you so much for that. We appreciate you coming on again um, for your point of view. And um, we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much. Great. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.